What's going on, ladies and gents? Hope this video finds you well wherever you are in the world today. And today, I just have an organized rant for you guys. I've just been thinking a lot this week and just want to share some of my thoughts with you all. Um, this past week, I was thinking a lot about complaining and how that affects us. And um, I don't really complain a lot out loud and I don't really complain a lot in general. Um, but this past week, you know, I was just kind of thinking about certain things. And part of it was because as I talked about in my last video, we have to be careful about like what we constantly like watch and see. And I'm subscribed to some like people um, on YouTube that I get some like updated um, information on the state of the world and news and business and politics and whatnot. And uh, there's this one person that I was just like, you know what, I think I gotta like stop watching their content because every time that I look on my subscription feed, um, they, they're they always complaining about like things, you know, like, or things that are going on in the world. And it's like, it, it is true. Like some of the things are very true, but I'm like, man, like I, like I gotta, I don't wanna constantly be in a, in a play, state of complaining, you know, um, and just various examples, right? Just complaining, um, about politics, complaining about how terrible dating is today. Like there's so many different things that we constantly see, especially just like being on social media that are done intentionally to grab our attention so that we we want to watch it. And, um, it, but it's, it's so negative, you know, it's just like feeding into negativity, you know? And when we do that and we allow that to fester in our mind, it seeps down into our spirit and our subconscious and we we begin to create that reality around us, right? Um, and and just just for example, going back to like dating, right? If if I'm constantly like, man, dating sucks, and like women today are just so different, yada yada yada, then yeah, I'm going to it. That's that's the reality that I'm going to live in. Those are the type of people that I'm going to attract. Same thing like this past week, just dealing with a customer, an angry customer. And as I was talking to him, I was being very nice and professional, but in my head, like I was just saying some very just things that I shouldn't have been thinking, right? And I had to catch myself in, in, in that state of complaining. And um, as I said last week, thoughts become things, right? And even, even how I think about somebody else is a form of love. Um, it is a form of energy and, and how I um, think and treat other people is how I'm treating myself. And so I was just like, you know, I had to catch myself and I, I, like a couple times this past week, just complaining about some things and customers and this life happening. And I had to change my complaining to like, you know what, like God bless them. You know, like they're probably going through something that I don't know about and they just happen to take it out on me, but I'm going to be the stronger person. Um, and I'm not going to allow it to change my my thinking and my spirit. I'm gonna maintain my peace and my harmony. And even though I may not have the opportunity to say it to them uh, in person, I'm just gonna think those thoughts towards them, like bless them, I wish them peace you know, happiness. I, you know, I, I wish them healing. Um, I hope that they have a phenomenal week and, and me changing my, my thinking from that negative state of like complaining and just like wanting to bash them to a state of like peace and harmony and giving them love. Um, that is me loving myself, you know? Um, and just also just self-talk too. Some, something else that I've been thinking about, um, especially talking to, to several of my homeboys this week who are, um, we're just we're all we're all on our journey of getting somewhere. Um, uh, I, I gotta. Nah, I don't want to go on a tangent, but anyway, um, it's important to have goals in front of you and to be driven. And but it's also to, important to remember that where you are currently was once a prayer, and to bask in that, to bask in that moment, to be grateful, to find something every single day about your life and just where you are currently, just live in the present moment. I tap myself. Uh, sometimes on my chest just to remind myself, Caleb, like get out of your head, like stop thinking so much about the future and your goals. They are important in, 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 in its place, but live in the present moment, you know, be kind to yourself, find something to be thankful about today because I, I do have a lot, I do have very high standards and I'm very strict with myself and I, and I don't want to lose that, but I want to balance it by making sure that I'm kind to myself and just understanding that I'm not a robot, that I'm a human and that again, just where I am currently was once a prayer and more importantly than the arrival or getting that thing or achieving the goal is the journey of getting there and, and who we become and what we experience, the people that we meet, how we grow, what we learn along the way, that 
is what's more important and then our state of mind and state of our spirit as we're going through this journey and so putting it all together just being careful about like how we think about other people not just ourselves is, is is important but also how we think about ourselves being kind to ourselves talking to ourselves in a nice manner catching ourselves when we're in that moment of wanting to seep into negativity and wanting to complain and maybe wanting to call people out of their name or or think certain things to to bridle our tongue or even to bridle our brain and our thoughts um, and to not allow that to fester you know and to change that stinking thinking or negativity to peace and, and and blessings and harmony like even when that person has done you wrong or or even when um they may be deserving of that thought or that that thing don't don't waste your your spiritual energy on that and 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 so seeds of negativity either in thought form or even out of your mouth um i was reading through matthew chapter five this week and it was just talking about there was one part where it was talking about um uh, adultery and and it said like even um a man thinking lusting in his heart after after somebody just the thought of that thing is is a sin and i was just like wow like that's that's powerful but it's because that thought the more that we let it fester and the more that we think about it and then it seeps into our spirit and our subconscious and then our feelings and emotions get attached to it we begin to create that reality around us you know and, and so just our thinking is so important how we think about things and and what we allow to sit in our mind and our spirit we have to be very careful about so i just i'm challenging you all as i challenge myself just because you know life is real you know we we deal with a lot you know uh day to day week to week and, and for you just you know for me as an entrepreneur just dealing with people and situations i have to remind myself just to um to stay in a, in a positive uh, peaceful state like overall like that is the, the the wealthiest thing that I desire is just living a peaceful life, you know, not not being a state of negativity in my mind or in my spirit, not um, being a state of, of, of anxiety. And I think that's the other piece of it, too. Like a lot of what we consume and like how we think and how we talk about things, how we talk about ourselves and how we talk about other people, even just how we just the thinking of it, even if we never open our mouth, if we're thinking in negative ways, we're bringing on anxiety and depression to ourselves, right? Because that is the state that that we're in. I wanna encourage you to think about like, when you're thinking about certain things, what is the feeling in here when you're thinking that thing? And to be mindful of that as you move forward and to catch yourself, to, to change that thought, you know, to, to speak life, speak life to yourself as well as speaking life unto other people. Again, the way that we love ourselves is a standard for how we love other people and how we allow other people to love and to treat us. and and if I'm complaining and calling somebody out of their name or something in my head, I'm I'm wishing upon them what I'm wishing upon myself, you know? And so we just have to be mindful of that and just just understand that everything is is everything, that all things work together for your good. Don't when you catch yourself, especially for those of us in our single season, um, when you if, if and when you catch yourself with those negative thoughts of man, all men today are trash and like nobody cares about love or all women today are this and don't know how to X, Y, and Z. Don't allow those, those thoughts to fester because that's what you're going to continue to attract and create in your life because that's what your spirit is giving off. You're giving off a negative glow, a negative aura. And so, yeah, you're not going to attract uh, peaceful situations, you know, in, in that manner. And that's just one example, but it, it goes into all things, every aspect of our life. We have to be careful about the state of our spirit and our mind and just what we allow to just fester and to sit. So don't get caught up in complaining and, and be kind to yourself um, and, and understand that um, where you currently are was once a prayer. Even if it's hard some days to, to realize that because you're so bad, want to get out of the situation that you're in, that you're on a journey. You know, and just to respect and to, to love and appreciate your journey. Just I challenge you every single day just to find one thing just to be thankful about, you know, just random things, you know, like, man, God, I'm, I'm thankful for my toes. I'm thankful for my fingers. I'm thankful for where I live. I'm thankful for the sun. I'm thankful for fresh air. I'm thankful to have water. I'm thankful to have a roof over my head. Just find something to be grateful for. And. Um, and continue to just operate from a place of peace and abundance right where you are, you know? Um, but anyway, just wanted to drop in real quick with that. And uh, I'll be back soon, guys. Peace.